This is part of the reason why the only person I, I ever look at on TikTok is that German guy who does like really weird trick shots with like darts and CDs and shit. Oh yeah, where he's just throwing them and then when he makes it, he just sort of like collapses. Yeah, he's like, whoa, yeah, that dude. That's yeah, literally yeah. the only person on TikTok I follow. Although so I follow too many. I have three I have two accounts, three accounts that I use. One is for my for arts and crafts, one is for cooking recipes and stuff, and one is for just everything else. I got one for big old titties. <laughs> there are a lot on TikTok though. How do you turn your lights again? Uh L. Yep, oh, there we go. Had to push it twice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's running lights and then headlights, yeah. and then K is bright. All right, okay. I am 50 miles away. Gotcha. Albaca has not yet even picked up her boat. I'm, but I'm right here, so yay. Wipers off. Wipers yep. are O, right? Uh, P. 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 P for rain. <laughs> P for Skype. Skype is. P for pouring. Don't go making sense now, Baka. Sorry. Man, I swear if I'm getting sick before I go to Canada, I'd be so mad. Bro. That My throat's was... so scratchy right now. I'm like, what? You, you need to go chug some NyQuil or something. Something, dude. I'll go up there sick. I'll be sick all week. I don't care. I get our sick. We'll just take care of each other. Yeah. Man, I hate these world of tricks contracts. I want to go fast. Yeah, the problem with the freight contracts is sometimes they're like I've pulled into places and been like, let me look at the freight in this city. And then all the jobs are like intra city. I'm like, Ugh. what a fucking that's, waste. That's weird. I want to drive five miles down the road, and make a delivery. Give me something good. They're like, uh, how about the next town over? Come on. <laughs> Fuck you, game. 20 miles away. You're all good. The guy that looks like he's yeah. thinking about why he is, why is he even doing this stuff uh, while doing trick shots and then he collapses and he succeeds? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's the guy. The guy who tries to bounce... Uh, CDs off of a rubber ball into a Wii that's hanging upside down. Okay, you need to give me a link to his Dude, TikTok account so I can follow he, him too. He does some crazy shit. Like, but I mean, I he, he, has a, he has a timer the whole time sitting next, and some of them, he, he's gotten a couple in like a minute or two, and then others are like, here's day four. <laughs> And he'll do it for like six or seven hours a day. He's just like, oh, you can tell like at the end of a day, his soul is leaving his body. <laughs> and you're just like, wow, dude, this guy looks dead. The one I would, the one I had, I, I had explained the one where he was trying to bounce a disc off of a, off of like a rubber bouncy ball into a Wii hanging upside down. He gave up on that one because I think he did it for like a week and never got it. Yeah, I can see that one being uh, statistically impossible. Yeah. Like, there were a couple of times okay. where he, he got it in the slot and he heard the Wii go like, like it was trying to suck it, but the CD would still fall out. And he, oh, was, yeah. just, and he was just like, oh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, I got a big boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, double articulated, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's a long boy. It's uh, got like the little tiny 
front and back thing. Yeah. Thanks. Well, they really didn't give you room to pull out here, did they? Oh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start going. Since you're talking about pulling out. I never pull out. <laughs> Have fun in Canada. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Man doesn't do his daily workouts with sports. He does it with self-torture and depression. <laughs> Don't we all? <sighs> oh man, there's a wow. stuck car. There's That's a car. They're in your in your articulation. Yeah, he got stuck. Why did he even? How did? Where did? He... Oh man, I hate this. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> To be fair, you pulled out in front of those cars. I did Can't not. Fat. That's okay. I'm up here. For, oh my god, I'm up here fucking shit. <laughs> I got caught on a telephone on a uh, stoplight. <laughs> oh come on! I, I caught my Just first I caught my first articulation point on the pole and had to like reverse, and my truck was all like, "You're damaging the trailer. You've been backing up." Why can I get out of this? I, I, uh, I'm gonna make, I'm make it. Come on, I, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I'm moving the car. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name, but his his name is like Daniel Wolska, something like that. I'll be here a minute because Baka created a traffic jam. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for a second. I gotta, I'm gonna go look it up real quick. It's gonna bother me. Michael. Michael right. Wolitska. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. You can do it. Good job. Oh, yeah, you did. I hit nothing at all. Yes, I hit nothing at all. What did I? <laughs> Tell me the truth. I don't think you hit anything. Oh, it's green and it's already red. Why? Damn you. This is good. Oh my job. god. Thanks, Matt. There's so many people back here. Thank you for what? The, the triple articulated? Um, that and the link. Oh. Or double articulated, I guess. It sounds Polish because you can't pronounce it and you're German. Oh. Bro, I am like super popular in Germany. Why weren't you here earlier earlier this week? I played through a whole bunch of Wolfenstein game. <laughs> it was great. It was you in helped, German. You could have helped me translate a bunch of the signs that I couldn't understand. What people were shouting at me. They sounded so mad. I, mean, I wonder why. <laughs> no, please don't stop, dude. Right. Oh, me? No. Nope. Stupid car. Just gonna go around the it. I still, I still have not, I just now made the turn at that light. <laughs> there was so much traffic behind Bach, I could not get out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Coming now. I think we at least have like six or seven Germans in the Discords. 
Yako, Sidian. Yeah, we have Yako and Sidian. We have Zonzi and a couple of others that I can't think of off the top of my head. I I can think of one, but I can't remember her name. Like something with P. And we haven't heard from her for so long. Oh, Pris. Pris, yes. No, nah, she left the server. Oh no. No, nah, it was it was her her own decision. Hmm. I hadn't heard from her in like like three or four months, and I messaged her, and I'm like, "Hey, I just want to check in, make sure you're okay." She's like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Hello, Zed. Hello. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm fine. I don't even think I've left the town yet. No. Now, I'm... It it's a wave of red lights, I think. <laughs> yeah, I am not that just... much further ahead than you guys. Yeah, I can see you on my map. I have hit literally every single red light. Same. Later, nerd. Bye bye. Yeah, we just hit another red light. <laughs> but yeah, man, come join the Discord. You can hang out with all the other Germans. Teach me the difference between high and low German. Lost your German. Do what? That's a completely different language. Austrian German is at least the some of the dialects are like, oh my god, you can't even you don't even recognize it as German. I I, I liked when I learned that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't dub his own movies into Austrian because another red light. I don't care because he speaks such a crappy version of Austrian that most Austrians wouldn't be able to understand him. <laughs> Apparently he speaks like the red redneck version of Austrian. <laughs> okay, I am just now getting onto Highway 15. Making we are still here. in town, making our way downtown. <laughs> it actually fits right now. I just like that sentence. You could have helped me translate what all those Germans were shouting at me in Wolfenstein. They sounded so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why they were so mad at me. High German is normal German, low German is completely different. Well, every, all the other German guys in the server were saying that uh, if you speak High German, you could probably understand most low German, but not the other way. Same thing with like. Um, what is it, Swiss? The Swiss and German have a lot in common, apparently. Swiss have different languages. have French, English, German, and I think other language, but they don't have their own, I don't think. At least, I'm not sure they, they, they do. Well, I guess, I guess it's easier it's easier to understand multiple languages if you speak German because German is a base language for a lot of other foreign languages. Mm. So uh, there are some significant, like, uh, identical carryover. Yeah, Germany wasn't a thing in 1840. That was the Habsburg, I think, still. Well, whatever. You know what I mean, though. Yeah. Sorry, they're called Germanic languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like English. <laughs> English is hard, man. English is stupid. 
English is stupid. English is stupid fun. I don't know, man. English is my only language and I don't understand it. It doesn't help that the English language uses so many other languages as normal words. Yeah, French. So, so yeah, German. so you're like, how does this make sense in this German. context, but it doesn't that one? It's like, well, that one's, uh, well, that one's this based one, in Dutch. This yeah. one's based in France. Yeah, this one has a French uh, base, and this one was German. And it's like, yeah, but like those aren't little... anything alike. And like, yeah, but like they're spelled the same, but they sound <laughs> yep. completely different. And you have to know. And what's funny is. A native English speaker can read a sentence and innately know which version is being used. Yeah. But, a, but a non-native English speaker, more likely than not, has no fucking idea which one it is. <laughs> it's just like, sorry, man. I don't know what to tell you. English is dumb. English is just like a melting pot of like half a dozen different languages. <clears throat> That's what happens when your uh, point of origin colonizes half the world. Yes. We have French roots and German roots and Latin roots and Spanish roots. Oh, uh, right. yeah, Spanish kind of Spanish is kind of Latin. It is. But yeah, there are some like modernish Spanish roots in there. It's just like, oh my god. I mean, the guy who discovered America officially was Spanish, were sent by the Spanish imperial family. If I remember correctly. I feel like as time goes on, there seems to be a lot of dispute about who actually discovered the Americas. I mean, natives, probably. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. To be fair, the natives were here. Uh, we're here already. Then the Vikings got here way before anybody mm -hmm. else. Really. But they didn't fucking care. <laughs> So it wasn't like they went back and they were like, we found America. They just went back and we were like, man, that was sweet. All right, time to go pillage somewhere else. <laughs> that place was cool. They didn't have a lot of shit, though. Yeah. There was just a bunch of, like, native peoples there. They didn't have any corn. And, like... They had maize. Yeah, they had corn. That was pretty sweet. Sweet corn. Corn and oysters. And they have weird names. Sorry, just kidding. I don't. I love. I love like native Indian names, like standing in the water, dancing with and dances with wolves and such. Cappy. I can't be. I'm sorry, I made Matt stay up late. They're saying hi too, and Lucid apologized for making me stay up late. Oh, I don't care. Usually, stay up late and watch TV. Bad stuff. So. I'm taking away from cuddle time. Oh, he said I'm taking away from cuddle time. <laughs> <laughs> As long as it's not a regular thing, she's fine. Sure. <laughs> oh, I'm not even driving back. Oh, I'm driving Max. <laughs> I'm driving too slow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an external contract for you. I <laughs> must stop for fuel soon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to stop for sleep. So, I feel you. In good? Uh, yeah, there's gas and sleep and repairs right past view. Okay. 
for buddy. <laughs> he asked me how I would pronounce it before I knew the correct she, pronunciation. She had like eight guesses and they were all wrong. And I was like, this is, this is amazing. If one of them was butt, that's the correct one. Yes. I said butt first, then French boute. <laughs> Butty. Boot. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's technically butte, but I always say yeah, butt. Butte. Butte. <laughs> There's somewhere I go through all the time called Big Butte. Just Big Butt. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's the all Americans called for naming your town so weirdly <laughs> that you can't pronounce it. <laughs> there are there are some weird town names. So there was a town I in... know. And I think it's New Mexico or Arizona called Truth or Consequences. Yep. Oh, named no. after a game show in the 80s, or maybe it's the 70s. I heard, but, I actually heard of that town, Truth and Consequences, yeah. in Dr. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> it was, there was an episode set in there, Truth and Consequences. Yeah, it's a very dumb, dumb thing. <laughs> Basically, the show was like, we want someone to name their town after us, and they did, and the show got canceled. Yeah. So, <laughs> stuck with that Show name. must go on. There's a uh, what? What was the name of the town in? Uh, you know the book written by the uh, 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 fuck. I gotta. I got it on my phone. Come on. Because I read it like once every six months. It's, it's so good. Audio book player. The town in the. Oh, oh no, it's on. Audible. Why do you have to click like six buttons to look at your library? Yeah, it's very. I really don't <laughs> like what they've done with the app to Audible. Uh. Paradox Bound. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, oh, what is the name of that town? You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. One, the one with the three taverns. Yeah. But it has a very unique name, but it's a real town, too. All right, I'm, I'm pulling off to the uh, sleep gas repair. All right. I'm going to do so as well. My guy is so sleepy. It's my fucking trailer, isn't it? <laughs> Are you stuck on something? No, it's... Why is it when you pull <laughs> in... See, this is another thing I have problems with this game's AI. You pull into a place, and it doesn't matter that your trailer is 80 feet long. The next guy behind you will be riding your ass. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, give me a fucking minute here, would you? I need to back up like three feet because I've made a tiny mistake. And it's like, you hit them. You hit this guy. And I'm like, what is he doing three feet behind me? <laughs> like, man, fuck this dude. You hit his truck. Good. Fuck his truck. <laughs> Plus the AI d has no fucking idea how to revert. Nope. Oh, that's our button. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you so that never off. happens at truck stops, huh? <laughs> well, I've never tried to turn off my truck and pull the air horn cable. I mean, that's fair. But, like, in real life, people are, like, honking all the time in truck. It's true. It's because they're in the way. Yeah, other guys are like, fucking move! Yeah. You already got your gas. Leave! Where are we? This is a... This is a, is this a, this is a, oh, uh, what the hell is the name of it? I know where we are. I just can't remember the name of it. Helena? This Sap Brothers. A, this oh, is a Sap, no. Sap Brothers truck stop. I was like, it's not a pilot, is it? No, it's not a pilot. Pilots don't look like that. You know, in all honesty, it looks kind of like a, uh. What in the hell are you doing? Come over here. Are you going to fix shit? 
looping around. Oh. All right. Uh, it looks kind of like what are the the? It looks kind of like a Bucky's, except Bucky's don't allow big trucks. Always yeah. confuse the hell out of me. Because truck drivers are disgusting. Yes. You guess. Go take a walk. Go to your nearest truck stop and just walk along the fence line. Just garbage. Like, not just garbage. There's bottles full of piss and poop in bags. Why don't they just throw that in trash cans? A solid question. And Bucky's was like, nah. Just none of that for us. I mean, that's a solid choice. Yeah. <laughs> German town names are different. We have Misery, Dog Air, and Dispute, Hatsbo, Testicles Hagen, a name without a translation, <laughs> Ficken, And lastly, place. Place. What does Dortmund mean then? We've got a lot of te Texas has weird towns like Cut and Shoot, um, Gun Barrel. We have Paris and China. We do have Paris. And Glasgow. London. There's there's Brazil, <laughs> not in Texas. And Glasgow. <laughs> Oh, so there's this place in, uh, is it Missouri? I think it's Missouri, called uh, Miami. It might be Oklahoma. That's right there at the border. Um, they 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 say it's Miami. Miami. <laughs> and I hate it. Do you just call uh, it Miami? Yes, because it's spelled Miami. And I went there and I was doing something and the guy was like, he, they were talking about the, the town and uh, I think he's like, where are we? And they're like, uh, Miami. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, is it not pronounced Miami? He's like, no. I was like, the fuck kind of backwards ass shit is that? <laughs> they probably had a lot of people calling it Miami and they probably named it Miami originally and then people were all like, like Florida! <laughs> and they were like, actually, no, we're going to change the way it's pronounced. I'm so tired of people saying and it's all like it's what not going to stop. Name that? It's honestly not going to stop anybody from nope. saying it. Now, now you're just getting pissy about a different thing. Yeah. Now people are going to come in and call it Miami. Yep. Miyama, Miyama, Kansas. Is it Miyama? M I A M A. It apparently ends in no. A and not I. No, it does not. It's not the same place. It's spelled Miami. It's either it's either it's either Oklahoma or Missouri. It's right on the border up there by uh, forty four or I forty four right there. Did I say Kansas, Oklahoma, or Missouri? No, I think you said Oklahoma or Missouri. Okay, now Kansas is bouncing around there, and I couldn't remember where it, where it was fitting. Phonetically, it's spelled M-I-A-M-I. -I. It is in Kansas. But the pronunciation is Miyama. But it's spelled Miami. Is it Kansas? I don't think it's Kansas. I mean, there might be one in Kansas, so maybe that's where I heard it. But there is one in Oklahoma, too. Google it. <laughs> I would, but I'm driving, and I will flip my truck over if I pick up my phone. Miami. Oh, I guess I could drive with uh, a keyboard. Whoa, I almost crashed. <laughs> Don't do that. I've been doing that all night, sir. <laughs> almost crashing and actually crashing. It's fun. What are the different places in America called Miami? There's a lot of states with a lot of cities that share names. I asked my Google. Like Springfield. There's so many Springfields. I I asked Google. <laughs> Almost every state has a Springfield. It's crazy. Yeah. And I'm, I'm Miami, Arizona, Miami, Miami Indiana, Obama. Miami, Missouri, Miami, New Mexico, Miami, Ohio, yes. Miami, Oklahoma, Texas, shush, West Virginia. Shush, 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 stupid phone. Not you, my phone. How are you guys so unoriginal with your name? 
Bro, we were we were boring back then. Well, here's the thing: it's <laughs> it's not that they're they're unoriginal. It's like there's only so many names, and a lot of towns are named after people. Just call it New Miami or New 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 York or something. That's worse. That's so much worse. <laughs> Miami is apparently an Indian word. Makes sense. Washington is the most shared city name. Interesting. Blame. Yeah, I don't what know. Do do? I don't know a team. lot of. Yeah, yeah. Why is he so important? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Um, Columbus, Georgia. Columbus, Ohio. There's a bunch of Columbuses. There it is. Uh, still what? waiting. Still waiting for the European city Summerfall. Summerfield. Sorry. Summerfield. Politnopolia. I don't. I'm sure there are summer fields here in the U.S., but I've not heard of. Them. Yeah, I don't. We don't have um, that city name in our country. I don't think. Politnopolia. No. <laughs> We do have St. Peter and other St. Variants, like St. Bartholomew, but we call it St. Yernay and such, St. Peter. You knew somebody whose last name was Summerfield? I think I would have seen the last name Summerfield uh, more likely than I would have seen a city. I've seen so many names, I couldn't tell you if I've seen certain names or not. Working phone tech support, you're going to hear almost every name. Have you ever met uh, Mr. We Had a Baby Pizza Boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. That's a commercial. <laughs> oh, man. You have a collect call from We Had a Baby Pizza Boy. Do you accept? No. And then they just hang up. Who was that? Oh, it was oh. Bill. Yeah, it was yeah. Bob. It was Bob. <laughs> they had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> oh, weird, man. God <laughs> damn, dude. There was another one of those commercials, and I cannot remember what the other name was. Oh, I've actually I looked that commercial up. Some of my favorite commercials from around that time frame were the commercials. Do you remember the commercials for Outpost.com? Uh, not off the top of my head, but if you was, probably uh, started acting it out, I'd probably remember it. It's just a dude that was standing there, and he's like, we here at Outpost.com would like you to remember our name. That's why we're going to fire gerbils out of this cannon through the ocean. Yeah. And then he's just like loading gerbils into this cannon and he's like, Bah! And they're like smacking against the letter O and shit. And finally one goes through and the little light comes on like, woo, woo, woo. He's all like, yeah, we did it. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, my God, that's dumb. We here at Outpost.com would like you to remember our name. That's why we hired this high school band to spell our name on the football field. And to make it more interesting, we released a pack of ravenous wolves. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> the fucking the band just fucking scatters. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god, what are these? And they always they always ended with that send your complaints to. <laughs> yeah. Outpost.com. And oh. the, o the only other one I ever remember, I remember those two, and then I remember one where they said they wanted you to remember their name, so they're tattooing it on the forehead of a bunch of babies. Uh, I'm not sure I saw that one. Yeah, that's the one. That one was the least funny, because it was just a it was a room full of babies with tattoos on their forehead and, like, a tattoo artist doing one, and all the babies yeah. were crying. Because it was a tattoo artist on their forehead and, like, a tattoo artist doing one, and all the babies were crying because they got fucking tattooed on their face. <laughs> You're a baby, that shit hurts. Yeah. Oh yeah, the I don't know what was that for? The one the one it was for like a it was for like an alarm company or something, but it was like a 
a monkey jumped out of the car when somebody was trying to break into it and started beating the shit out of the guy trying to break oh, into the Oh, yeah, car. Trunk Monkey. Trunk Monkey, yeah. <laughs> oh, you think it was for insurance? Maybe, yeah. I saw. <laughs> Trunk Monkey Insurance, where a monkey protects your trunk. Yeah, in instead of getting an alarm that just... Because they... There was this whole thing of like audio alarms on your cars don't really do anything because you'll become desensitized to them. Yeah. So instead of having an audible alarm when the uh, when somebody tries to break in, it activates truck monkey. <laughs> he just pops out of your truck and starts beating the shit out of the guy. Whoa! I have lost control of my truck. Like seriously. <laughs> Bro, did they put water physics in? What the fuck? <laughs> I hope not, because I'm on the same turn. Whoa, I I wiggled. I almost hit that truck on the right. Jeez. With the red trailer. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh my god, that was crazy. Yeah, the one where the surgeon was like working on this guy and he was like, he's got money coming out of the wazoo. <laughs> I remember that one. Bro, why is my truck not... I'm going uphill, and I have cruise turned off, and I'm still accelerating. Jesus Christ. How fast was I going downhill? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those, one of those times when you're driving a, a truck, and you know you're pulling something behind you, and you look out of your uh, driver's side window, and you see the load to you and you're like Ooh, this is bad uh -oh. i've had that happen uh -oh. uh, uh, twice have you yes did you get come, uh, like literally come unhooked no no not come unhooked uh, like I was, I was, yeah i was stopping very hard and uh the trailer was empty but it was uh it was coming around because it was not stopping as fast as i was i guess those trailer brakes aren't quite as good as the truck brakes well, the, so here's the problem with truck brakes, right? They're 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 meant to be used under heavy load. So when you apply all the stopping power, the ABS is sort of powerless to uh, overcome that much pressure. Usually, the weight will help fight back. But if you're lightweight, it's very hard. It's harder to stop when you're empty than it is when you're loaded. If that makes sense. Yeah. No, it does. Because your trailer hops really bad. When it's empty. Yeah. Because your, trailer, no, your trailer's probably normal. got, like, standard brakes on it. And your truck's got, uh, like, badass brakes. No, no, brakes. It's, it's, they, they've all got big badass brakes. Oh, okay. They've all got the same, same, same everything. You can literally pull all the stuff off the, my truck and put it on the trailer. Except for the, the steer axle, because it has disc brakes. Well, that's fair. Yeah. But the... If if a truck has drum brakes on the rear axles, they they're, they're exactly the same on the trailer. Uh, but my truck has all disc brakes. Poor Delane. It's apparently where we are. Where that it's, it's in Washington apparently because there's Spokane. Poor Delane, yeah. There's Canada. Is there a benefit to disc brakes over brake pads? You mean drum brakes? Yeah, there is. Uh, they're they last longer. They're more more heat efficient. Yeah, um, I guess it's because you're applying the stopping pressure to the entire disc as opposed to the one pad area. Well, uh. Drum brakes, you have pads on the top and bottom, so that I'd say about 75% of the drum is being used at the same time. Um, I have not pulled apart my disc brakes to see how big the pads are, but they're not small, they are massive. But better heat efficiency. Um, I mean, compared, compared to like a consumer vehicle, which Yes. The brake pad only covers like maybe 25%. Right, yeah. Yeah, you get a lot more brake pad. And a lot thicker too. Like, I think they're, mine are like uh, an inch and a half to two inches thick. Yeah.
Bro, I've, I've seen too many videos, like, I'm impressed by how badass some truck brakes are. Because you see those videos of, of truckers online where, like, somebody will pull out in front of them and they'll stop their entire truck in, like, 30 feet. Yeah. And you're like, holy shit, that thing probably weighs 40, 50 tons, and he stopped that thing in, like, 30 or 40 feet. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's got... That truck fucking stopped. Yeah. If you've got your your whole system is in proper working order, you do your trips, your inspections like you're supposed to every day, that's how trucks should stop. But a lot of guys don't. So there's things like your ABS module doesn't work. Um, brake pads aren't, or your, um, too your uh, or something. <clears throat> that too, and they're just out of adjustment. Like you got to make sure your um, spring, your, I cannot, SK, uh, not S cams. I cannot remember what the hell they're called now. <laughs> It's my whole job and I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> but basically you have these things where you have to get under your, your truck and adjust the, the brake distance okay. so you can get your, your brake pads closer or farther away, whatever. If those are out of adjustment, your brakes just won't work. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, but, I see these like, it's just the dumbest people on earth thinking that this 18-wheeler is going to be able to compensate for them cutting them off. And I'm like, yeah, bro, you have chosen a very unpleasant way to die to <laughs> I can guarantee you if that truck does not stop, you are dead. Yeah. Here's the crazy thing, right? We had a driver um, a couple years ago get in an accident that ended up killing someone, and it was under 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, uh, I'm, even at like, let's say 17 miles an hour, 40 tons at 17 miles an hour is still gonna yeah. force. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure this person had some other uh, underlying medical conditions that were exacerbated by getting into an accident, but sure. those, these are things you just can't know about yourself. Like, you never know, man. Yeah, you never know if you're gonna have a heart attack. Yeah, it's it's best not to put yourself in a position that could make things worse. Also, since we have an audience that we're doing truck things, I just want to ask people not to slow down before you pass the semi. Just keep going the speed you were going. Or go faster if you want. Just don't slow down. It's so annoying. Oh, like they come into your lane and then they slow down in front of you? Well, no, not in front of me. I mean, that's annoying too, but like when they're about to pass and they're coming up behind you, and they're in the left lane, and then they slow down like they got to build up the courage to pass you. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. No, anytime, fucks, yeah. anytime I pass an 18-wheeler, like if the 18, let's say it's a 65 mile an hour zone, right? And the 18-wheeler yeah. is doing like 60 to 65, somewhere in that range. When I get into the left-hand lane to pass the truck or up, bro, I'll usually do like 75 or 80 to get around. <laughs> That's fine. Like, I don't care if people speed up. Just don't slow down. Oh, I'm going to miss my turn. No, a truck! Ah! An accident. Oh no! <laughs> right lane, stay in the right lane, far right lane. I mean, I'm way behind you guys. Oh my god, this stupid, stupid truck. <laughs> there's, an, there's, there's an accident at our exit, be, be, be advised. Well, like, this is pulling a baka. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, uh, I usually don't like to stay next to an 18-wheeler for very long. Yeah, if I, can. I get that. Like, you know, just maintain the speed you're passing or go faster, whichever. Just don't slow down and then speed up. It's very weird. I got to imagine it's it's got to freak a driver out periodically. When, they're, when they look in their rearview mirror and they see a car about to pass them, they're like, okay, I'm going to get past it. And then, like... 15 or 20 seconds later and they're like where where'd the car go where, are you passing me what's going on and you're like where's this car hey, so here's the biggest problem uh, the reason it makes me so mad right so you have a line of traffic coming and I'm waiting to get over into that lane to pass a truck that's going a little slower than me so I'm waiting for you to pass but you slow down before you pass me like to build up your courage or again i don't know i don't i don't know i want to i want to ask someone who does it why they do it but 
So then they go, but the traffic that was behind them that had a big gap enough, big enough gap for a truck has now caught up to them. Now there's no gap. Yeah, and now I have to slow down more and then people are doing that one car at a time thing and everyone's slowing down and it's, let's just go. Uh, I cannot wait for self-driving cars. Question for you in uh, in chat. Why do 18-wheelers use the string above them to honk? Uh, that's where the air horn valve is on most trucks. So, uh, most trucks, they have electric air horns now, but and that's just a switch. But usually there's an airline and that string is attached to a valve. And when you pull that, it opens air to the air horn. That's pretty much it. Because uh, air runs through your dashboard for your brake system. And they're all tied together. I guess it's it's more of a mechanical thing than an electric yeah. thing. Pushing, yeah. Pushing on the steering wheel. Yeah. Most new trucks, though, well, not most, but a lot of them, it's an electronic switch. And it's not really a valve anymore. Uh, it, did so, they, Did they put it in the steering wheel? Some of them, yeah, have it in the steering wheel. Some are still on the string on the uh, above the door, or above the windshield, but it's really just an electronic switch that mimics the old mechanical uh, valves. So it's it's kind of like a personal preference thing at that point. Sure, or whatever the manufacturer decided to put in. Fair. But on the old trucks, uh, you know, the big train horns, that's a mechanical valve usually. Uh, my buddy, his uh, old Peterbilt has an actual. Uh, ball valve uh, below his seat that comes through his floor, and when he opens it up, the thing is, god damn, the thing is loud. <laughs> uh, first time driving it, I was I, I was trying to adjust the seat in it, and I opened that valve up, and it scared the living shit out of me and everyone inside the <laughs> shop. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? I was like, I thought that was the seat valve, my head. <laughs> Pull in, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every single one of them. <laughs> I, I think I've gotten all but one way station tonight. Yeah. Oh my god, that's an And what's so annoying is the alert is like an eighth of a mile before the exit. Yep. So it's like, it's like beep, beep, beep. And I'm like, what's that beeping sound? And it's like, you need to pull in. <laughs> and then I look at my map and it's like the exit is 15 feet ahead of me. I'm like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Give me like a miles head notice here, folks. To be fair, because of scaling, those probably are a mile apart. Sure, sure. In I mean, real in life, real life, yes, they are about a, a mile. But yeah, in the game, it feels like it's 50 feet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh my God. Also, what's funny is I know what that is instinctually. Like, it's the exact same sound in my truck. I remember when you were saying you were watching me, you were watching me one day while you were sitting at like a, a truck stop or something. Yeah. And I, my, my way station thing went off and you were all like, wait, what? And you were like looking <laughs> yeah. around in your truck for it. Yeah. I was like, bro, that is like instinctual right there. Oh man, I've had all the, all the passes so far. <laughs> Oops. Man, the game's giving me all the stops and it's giving you all the passes. Come on, 50-50 this. <laughs> Jesus. In real life, that little blue box there is called uh, pre-pass. It's just like a brand? Yeah. There's also a drive-wise, but I don't know anyone who has a drive-wise. Maybe it's like... Certain trucking companies use that brand as opposed to the other one. Maybe. What's crazy is some uh, way stations will say uh, DriveWise users use MCAP signals, which I'm thinking it might be a phone app. But I've never cared enough to look into it. My company uses PrePass. All the companies I've driven for have used PrePass. Weird. Yeah. should have asked to Talon if he got any rain from the hurricane earlier. I think he said he had a little, but nothing nothing more than just like normal rain. Nothing more than the average thunderstorm kind of deal. You didn't get Hurricanes a single drink. 
It's like I was talking about um, Hurricane Harvey the other uh, earlier this this evening uh, when we were talking about it with Two Town. I was like, Hurricane Harvey was a fucked up kind of hurricane because it was up near Austin and it was still a Category One. Yeah. I was like, That's that crazy. that thing that thing went <laughs> inland, dude. It was not yeah. fucking around. <laughs> All the tornadoes was like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Go home. I was like, yeah, us on the coast, we're pretty well built for that. We're going to take, like, some some wind damage with signs and trees, maybe a little bit of flooding damage, but the buildings will be fine. And I'm like, when that hurricane hit San Antonio, man, San Antonio was freaking the hell out. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't blame them. That shit yeah. was crazy. They're not built for that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't build for hurricane force winds? Why would we? The ocean's five hours away. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you're in luck, sir. We're going to test your <laughs> facilities. 180 mile an hour winds. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised when they said that this hurricane landed in Florida at a really high Category 4, went across Florida, came out the other side as a tropical storm, and then was going back to Hurricane uh, to Category 1 before it went back towards, like, North Carolina and shit. I was all like, God damn, this thing's got a number for people. <laughs> it had to catch its breath. Yeah, it was all like, all right, I fucked up Florida. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> I got one more enemy. <laughs> I'm going back in. Yeah, I got caught in a sandstorm once out in West Texas. That was unpleasant. Yeah. I've surprisingly never been in one. Me neither. You've never even driven through one? Nope. Oh. Yeah, as much as I go across the desert, I hoped, I'd hoped i hope to be in one. I wanted something. Nah. I, I hit a... Uh, I hit a, uh, a tumbleweed head on one. I hit one the size of a house. Jesus. Oh! Yeah, it scared the shit out of me because it was so big and it was dark, right? Like, out in the desert, dark. <laughs> and I'm, like, cruising along and it just comes right in front of me. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I didn't know what it was. And then it exploded. And I was like, oh, thank God. Dude, the, you think... I, I thought those tumbleweeds were, like like nothing but air those things have some density to them man. They do. <laughs> yeah i hit a. it was a tumbleweed that probably came up to the hood of the car yeah so it was like a three foot tall tumbleweed you know it, was, it wasn't a tiny thing and uh man when i hit it it was like boom <laughs> and i was like yeah. lord it didn't do any it didn't do any like real damage to the car right now. it was yeah it but, made but... itself known yeah, it's 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 weird. They're so they're so floaty, but they're very dense. Yeah. But yeah, I got caught in a sandstorm where I was uh, I was leaving one of the sites I was working at in West Texas, and I just like opened the door to the oh. to the building, and it was just like fucking a wall of sand blowing by the door, and I was all like, I'm gonna close that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> and I was all like, well, I. I've got to leave, so I like I just need to like walk across the yard to the parking lot. <laughs> it's like 250 feet away, not that far. And I walked across, and I'm like, you know, it, it wasn't painful like they say in the movies. The like, it hurts real bad. You're gonna rip your skin off of your bones. I'm like, it definitely wasn't anything like that, but it was. It certainly wasn't fun. It's a gentle sandblasting. Yeah, it's essentially what it is. Yeah, it was a gentle <laughs> sandblasting. And I was all like, bro, this is like, ow, dude. Not, it, it felt like, uh, kind of like, if you've ever like stuck your head out of a car window when a car's doing like 60 down the highway and you get that yeah. blast feel on your face. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Uh, Ex exfoliation, <laughs> yes. <laughs> My my worst time is uh, windstorms up in Wyoming. 
just a good 70 mile an hour crosswind. Mm. They're like, trucks and RVs, you, you're not leaving. It's like, all right. Trying to walk the dog while also not losing my dog. Yeah. <laughs> at, that, at that point, you're more or less just flying your dog. Yeah, I'm like, go pee. It's like, I can't. <laughs> you're just like pulling her along like a kite. <laughs> Do that, it's, it's heckin' windy. <laughs> yeah. How are the ATS graphics so goddamn good and ETS feels like a pre-render? <laughs> yes, we made earlier. Yeah, to be fair, they're going they're slowly going through ETS and redoing all the textures because a lot of ETS2 players are like, what the fuck? ATS looks so much better. <laughs> but I mean, it really is hard to go back sometimes. Yeah. The time difference between when like some parts of Germany were made and when ATS came out were like six years. Yeah. So, yeah. Luckily, the engine is identical. So all they have to do really is do, uh, is do texture. Over. That's it. Uh -huh. The engine can handle it. Your vehicle is not in perfect condition. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Is I any a vehicle car. ever really in perfect condition? <laughs> it, it drives on the road. What do you expect? I'm surprised this thing only weighs 89,000 pounds. That doesn't sound right. Mine says 38,000. What? This is 38,000, are you sure? Yeah, 38,000 LB. No, uh, a whole, a whole vehicle weight. Oh. Oh, that's Wait, just, mine? yeah, mine is just cargo. Yeah. Uh, yeah I don't, cargo, I don't uh, have entire. I just know that because I went over the scale and it's like 89,000 oh. pounds. Gotcha, gotcha. Imagine Unreal 5 ATS, it would be terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, it would be fun. It would be fun, but like, like the map would be ridiculous. Yeah, it, it would be. It would run so shitty. First off, Unreal Five may look great in like the pre-rendered videos and all, but Unreal Five is not ready for full hardcore game development. Like there, there are people still working bugs out of Unreal Four. Give me ATS and creation. I yeah. want to play Skyrim and trucks. Oh, yeah. I want to drive this truck up that mountain in the distance. <laughs> Snowrunner, Skyrim, we're like. I love the Sky I know I love the Snowrunner engine, but it does not handle fast moving vehicles very well. What engine is Skyrim on? Creation. Yeah, creation. Technically, Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield are both on creation as well, but they're on a, an updated version of creation. Yeah, creation 2 or something. Yeah, they're calling it creation 2, but it is still technically creation 1. Yes. Yeah, I love when people are like, it's a new engine. I'm like, have you seen it? It's exactly the same. It might be updated, but it's the same stupid fucking engine. Yeah. I'm shocked they're still on creation because I think I, I think Oblivion was on creation too. Uh, it was, yeah. Uh -huh. Or no, I think Oblivion was Gabriel. Was it? I think I'm pretty sure it was Gabriel, or it might have been the in between of Gabriel and creation. Someone fact checked me. I might be wrong. It feels like creation is it's it's due for for like an actual. Re Either a, a, a full, legit Creation 2 or a different engine. Yep. Creation's future is belongs in a six-sided metal can. Yeah. It's, uh, it has its problems, and those problems that it has had for the last ten years are not <laughs> going to be fixed. No. It sucks, too, because every, every game you play that has the same problem. It's like, we can't fix those? It's like, nah. We can't. Like, why not? Well, it's an engine problem. Like, yeah. the engine can't do that. And 
you're just like, why did you build this game on this engine? What's worse though is modders fix on so many problems. Like every, it, it's insane. Hi, There's like huge mod packs that come out and fix all these problems every single time. And they're always the same problems. Oblivion was on Game Bryo. Yeah. It's next to me. Oh, it's Baka. I am. Get away. Did they, did they... <laughs> she said hi, Matt, but I was talking over her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go fast. I was there. Go faster than me. I, I am going. Like, okay. No, I, I, I know. I know you are now. But, like at the time, I was like, I went over in that lane. There's somebody there. <laughs> Get out of here. I need there. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Hey, at least I caught up. Now I know. Now I know Lucid's feeling. It's like faster or slower. <laughs> I don't care. Just don't be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need you anywhere else but where you are. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love you. <laughs> Oblivion was before Sky was the one right before Skyrim, right? Mm hmm or Yes. Was, was there another one? No. It was, oh, it was Mar Morrowind was before Oblivion. Before Oblivion. Yep. Yeah. Arena, Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, Hammerfall, I think. They still haven't announced what the name of the next one is, have they? Mm, no, but we all think it's going to be Hammerfall. Because it's the location geographically fits Hammerfall. I just like running other trucks off the road. It's a good time. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, as I want to do it for me. <laughs> I want to be right there, but this truck's right there, so I'm just going to slowly inch over into that lane until he freaks out. <laughs> yep. Hey, look at that. I'm in his lane now. Problem solved. I do that to the cars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get, get some uh, frustration. Get out. I'll usually let them go ahead or behind me, but like every once in a while they'll do the thing you were talking about where they just sit next to you for way too long and I'm just like, all yeah. right, fuck it, I'm coming. <laughs> Slam on your brakes, dude. Come on. Let's... Like at first, do you remember Matt, when we started playing ATS multiplayer, like in traffic, like how I was very uncomfortable with traffic. And now I just don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you were ever really uncomfortable. You were just um, <clears throat> not used to it because I was used, you, used you to didn't, playing yeah, alone on the you street. You never paid attention to it, so there'd be a car next to you, and you'd be like, "I'm just gonna run him over, fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't even look. She'd just change lanes, and there'd be a car there, and I'd be like, "Baka, you no, just killed first, that person." She's at like, "Where?" First, I was a bit nervous. I wasn't used to it, but then I just start, 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 stop giving a fuck when I got used to it. Run people over, and I'd be like, you ran over a family of four, and she's like, I didn't even feel it. <laughs> oh, man. That was no, a I minivan. Just really don't give a fuck. <laughs> a school bus. <laughs> He's like, where? Oh. <laughs> now they're in the ditch. Yep, they're in the ditch. They're fine. The grass is soft. You're glad she doesn't have a driver's license in real life? Yeah. <laughs> I have that problem in, like, I remember uh, when I was playing Burnout Paradise for, like, two weeks straight. And then, yeah, I and then we did ATS afterwards, and I was like... I just want to be zigzagging through all this shit now. <laughs> I've, I've got burnout in my mind, and I'm just like, I don't care, let's go! 300 miles an hour, who cares? I will drift this 18-wheeler. <laughs> That's not furious! But no, I, I think if I, have, I, if I did have the driver's license, I would be anxious a lot. I thought you were gonna say a menace. <laughs> no. I think I have. I think if I had my driver's license, I would be a murderer. <laughs> I was all like, in would... real in real life, I think I would be very anxious about everything. So that, it's a good thing I never chose. Decided to 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 start learning how to drive because I was not ready 
physically or mentally back then and I'm even less so now and nowadays I don't think even the doctors would let me we're really close to our drop off point but I don't see it uh, it's, it's, it's a ways off the road oh is it okay I'm like, my thing says it's like 10 miles away, and normally in 10 miles I can see it. And yeah. I'm like, I, it's, it's not there. <laughs> Lots of two lane roads. Take big, take, take, take both lanes. Use both lanes when you make the turns. Bro, is this Jeep gonna cut me off? I feel like this Jeep's gonna cut me off. Cut him off instead. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Drive him off the lay off the road. Now then. that I could do. I could just run him over. <laughs> it's always an option. Manslaughter, manslaughter. Bro, this Mustang. <laughs> Why is there a car hauler down here? That doesn't make no damn sense. Uh, maybe it's hauling away all the work trucks that broke down? But they're just regular cars. I don't know. I mean, I do know this. <laughs> just regular cars. It's all, the, it's all the cars and trucks that I, I destroyed. That makes more sense. <laughs> but why is this overpass on the highway 25 miles an hour? They're gone this way. They forgot to change it. Oh, this is not the right spot. This is Oklahoma? It's Oklahoma? No, it's Oregon. <laughs> We're really far from Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Literally halfway across the country. Okay. Just a sharp, sharp turn. Oh no! Give it the beans! Uh, when you turn in this place, make sure you're in the left lane way before you uh, come in the gate or you will not make it in. Understood. Okay. Thank you. The narrow gate for this type of trailer. Mm. <laughs> I just didn't know what state you were in. Yeah, we're in um, Oregon. I mean, Home of the Oregon Trail. Let's be honest, if you're uh, if you're guessing a state and we're in Oregon and you say Oklahoma, you're actually pretty close because there's not very many states that start with O. It's true. Just two. Those two. <laughs> he got he got this this first letter correct. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Adam says hi. Hello. Weird. He's been talking to you all night. He just now said hi. If you had to choose between Washington or Oregon, which would you choose? Washington. Washington. But honestly, only the west half of Washington. The east half is kind of boring. No, no car. See, look, this AI is stupid. It sees I'm trying to make a right-hand turn, and he's passing me on the right like an idiot. No real person in their right mind would do that. Yes, like they it. would. <laughs> yes, they would. They're so dumb. I'm like, I have my right turn signal on. I'm swinging out to the left because I'm 800 feet long. And they're like, you know what? I can sneak around the right side. Bro, I can't see you. I am going to kill you. <laughs> you feel like you could say that for every state? 50-50 fun boring? Lucid, do you drive yeah, much yeah. in South Carolina? Not really. Get in this lane, Baka. I don't do much huh? of the East Coast. Get in this lane. All the way over here. There you go. Nice and wide. Trying to stay away from the East Coast mostly. Yeah, it's too many people. Too much traffic, not enough. There's too much truck traffic, not enough parking. It's a whole mess. 
Uh, I've been I've been over there a lot. I just don't like going over there. I try to stay West Coast mostly. Like this last trip, I went from North Texas to well, actually Northeast Texas to Oregon to Northern California to Kentucky to Northern California again, then to Georgia, then to El Paso, and then back to Dallas. Great job, team. Yay. Did I scrape that fence? I don't know. I couldn't see it from the side. Look good to me. Yeah. And I and I, and I only paced like two or three cars. Turn to paste the few cars. <sighs> hey Matt. Hello. Bro, I feel like my truck driver. You are a truck driver. A real truck driver. Oh, I feel like the truck driver in the game. Tired? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Picture. He's sleeping. It's almost 1 a.m. Bro, it is almost midnight for me. <laughs> and of course, I already damaged <laughs> my truck again. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, Baka. Was it last time we played? I was bl I was literally blacking out of the week. Like yeah, the, you like no, you actually blacked out. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? Give you room in the middle. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we're You're ghost the VIP. You're the VIP. You're the VIP. Rose, do you have the steel box still? Ew. Ooh. <sighs> Hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> Fine. Is that a good supper room for a truck? Oh, that's plenty of room. I almost fit two trucks in. Oh, I like I like your uh, I like your your grill guard. Thank you. Very industrial. Yeah. Uh, where's the button? Yeah, it was. Oh, oops. I have to admit the camera mode in this game leaves a lot. The controls are they feel really weird. Yeah. Like my brain wants to use the can wants to move the camera around with certain controls, and the game's like, actually no, we moved them to like the other side of the keyboard for these commands, yeah. but only half of them. And I'm like, what? Why? It's so dumb. Oh, I should probably remap them one of these days. That'd be some. 